Muy buena gente, ¿cómo están? Sean bienvenidos, yo soy amigo Vir, estamos en otro capítulo aquí más en eh, Genshin Impact y vamos a continuar con la historia. Después de haber bajado y hablado con eh, Ningwan, mi amiga Ningwan, sí, vamos a, eh, a ver qué cosa planean los Fatui que nos han mandado para averiguar y vamos a entrenar a nuestro amigo Chonjun, ¿vale? ¿Cómo tengo a Chonjun? Para los que quieran verlo, eh, es el mismo set que cargaba con, eh, con Noel, nada más se lo cambié a Chonjun. Y eh, constelaciones pues no tenemos ninguna Y talentos pues eh, no tenemos muchos aquí subidos Porque pues no lo he leveleado tanto Pero por lo menos tenemos a 5 eh, Lo que es esta parte mañana voy a subirlo un poquito a 6 ¿Vale? Y las otras habilidades obviamente Así que vamos a darle por aquí Vale, ¿quién más nos falta? Dice que investiguemos, pero no... ¿Adentro? Así es, adentro. O arriba, ya ni sé. A ver, gente, ¿qué no? ¿Aquí? Ah, sí, aquí. ¿Para qué son? Parece que copiaron en ellos el patrón de los talismanes. Quizás están tratando de reproducir uno. El pato, el que nos dieron a nosotros. Pucha, quiero hacerse más fuerte. Sí, es mentira. Sí, Olga, llegué tarde, estamos dando vueltas hace rato por ti. Fuimos a hacer comida y todo el rollo. Estúpida, Paimon. Ah, mira, aquí está Sean Lee. A ver qué nos tiene que decir nuestro amigo Sean Lee. Right on time. I myself only... Did you enjoy your visit to the Jade Chamber? It was so big and pretty and expensive. Paimon's never seen such a fancy, fancy hmm. place before. Indeed. It's second to none in all of Liyue. Then you met with Ningguang, I trust? She's super rich and so generous. Oh, I don't think she's... Le cambió la voz. Le cambiaron la voz un poco más grave. Yeah, his take on Ningguang is quite different from Paimon. He thinks that even the tactless Yuhang is more trustworthy than her. Oh. So you also met with Kuching then? What did she... She said, the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue and Kuching don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? Hmm. <laughs> no respect for the Divine. Indeed, contrary to the Everbold Kuching, Ningguang is more of a businesswoman at heart. Though they are both members of the Qixing. Although she's friendly, there's no way of clearly discerning her true intentions. Yes, she has only relied on herself to rise to her current position. No, or it's said that she's the one behind the constant expansion of the Jade Chamber. It's the second most important thing to her. Even if she ever gave up the position of Tianxuan, she would never give up the Jade hmm. Chamber. The Jade Chamber is only second. What's the most important thing to her? <laughs> El dinero, supongo. <laughs> si, si, más, si solamente le interesa ser la más fuerte. Why Mora? Of course. <laughs> Le encanta el Mora. Ya lo sabía. All Ningguang talked about was the Fatui this and the Fatui that. She said that after Rex Lapis was murdered, the Fatui have constantly been trying to sink their fingers into Liyue and that they aren't to be trusted. That is how the Fatui have always been. It doesn't surprise me in the least. 
Hmm. No matter what they may be planning, you must be careful when dealing with the Fatui. Always be on your guard. So, is there anything we need to get for the Rite of Parting in Diwa Marsh? Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Today, we'll be gathering wild glaze lilies. Glaze lilies? Well, why did we come all the way out here? Doesn't the garden in Eugene Terrace have some? Even Chingsa Village has glaze lilies. Oh, right! Paima remembers that Madame Ping is always tending to flowers. Maybe we could ask her. No. Those lilies have all been gardened by people. They won't do at all. Dihua Marsh used to be full of glaze lilies. It is a sort of joyful flower that listens to human song. Before the Archon War, Dihua Marsh was all dry land and fertile soil. But the war caused landslides, and the land was flooded, turning it into the marsh you see now. Nearly all. Of course, there are some kinds of flowers that have been preserved and gardened by people in the city. But very wild glaze lilies have the strongest fragrance. If we want to follow the true tradition of the rite of parting, we must grind up the wild lilies. And but I'll need your assistance in gathering these flowers. Necesita que cante, Luna. I need you to sing to them. Singing to the flowers will make them more fragrant. Okay. So how good is your singing? Cantas, bueno, más o menos. Soy todo profesional. We'll only know once he starts singing. Sí, le cambiaron la voz a a este muchacho, a Shongli. No tiene la voz, la misma voz. Cántale, cántale. <coughs> <risa> Qué horror la, la canción de, de Amber. This little monster is known as a whopper flower. Hmm. Strange. These petals look interesting. The glaze lilies used as a disguise were buried with the whopper flower for too long. The result seems to have surprisingly potent medicinal value. Let's collect what we can of these petals. Well, that's nice and all, but will those petals be useful for the rite of parting? Unfortunately, no. Ugh, that's so lame. Excuse me. Uy, mierda. Ah, esa chava también está bonita. Are you searching for glaze lilies? Oh, hey, it's... What's your face? Uh... Hello, traveler. <laughs> I'm surprised Bien. you still remember my name. Ah, that reminds me. How was your visit to the Jade Chamber? Well, it sure would have been better if you told us how to get up there. Didn't I tell you the way? Nope, we found the way on our own. Eh, quizá olvidaste mencionarlo porque todo el mundo sabe llegar. Supongo que fue nuestra culpa por no preguntar. Oh, I see. Uh oh, I guess I really did forget to tell them. Huh. Something seems a little off about Ganyu. She's acting different from the first time we met. Where's her serious attitude now? Ah, oh, well, I met you at that time as an emissary of the Tianquan. But now I am simply out on a stroll to see the flowers. You came all the way out here to see the flowers? Why not just enjoy the gardens of the city? <sighs> Yujing Terrace is where Rex Lapis parted from this world. If I strolled through those lonely gardens now, I wouldn't be able to bear it. Whenever my duties take me near Yujing Terrace these days, I draw the windows to block my view of the gardens. Oh, sorry, we shouldn't have brought it up. No, it's quite all right. I just haven't processed my emotions yet. When the Archon War came to its end 2,000 years ago, the first iteration of the Seven would gather in Liyue and drink with Rex Lapis. But five of those original Seven had already passed before Rex Lapis. It's truly a changing of the guard. Los primeros siete recontros se reunían en Liyue 
Ah, mira, eran amigos y se reunían, pero dejaron de hacerlo. Now that the spirit of Rex Lapis has returned to the heavens, only Barbados of Mondstadt remains of the first seven. The other five, including Inazuma's Raiden Shogun, are no longer the same friends from 2,000 years ago. Of the current seven Archons, the youngest is Sumeru's god of Dendro. He is merely 500 years old, whereas Rex Lapis was more than 6,000 years old at the time of his passing. This means that Liyue had been under Rex Lapis's rule from the moment it was first founded 3700 years ago. The city has never had to bid farewell to its. So what do you think of this farewell? Huh? This. This is a little sudden. I. As a mortal, I've never dared to imagine a Liyue without Rex Lapis. But as an adeptus. I think I will eventually come to grips with reality. Since Rex Lapis has passed, the time of Liyue's contract with the gods and Adepti has now reached its end. Huh? Did you just say as an Adeptus? Exacto, esa es la palabra. Fue lo primero que se me vino a la mente. Adeptus? Yes, I... I am a mix of human and chilean. Adeptus blood flows through my veins. I fought for Rex Lapis and the city of Leo. ¿Y no reconoce a Rex Lapis? Sí, por eso tiene cuernos. I signed a contract with Rex Lapis and took the position as secretary for the Chising. I've continued those duties to this very day. Eso explica porque tiene cuernos. Well, uh, let's save that conversation for another day. You say that you are here looking for Glazelis? Así es. I also know where wild glaze lilies can be found. See, I've just picked one myself. Here, you may have it if you wish. <laughs> we dare not refuse it. Oh, so did you sing a song before you picked the lily? Indeed, I did. I know this tradition well. In fact, I sang a local Liyue ballad to it. Wow, so you really know your stuff too. Thanks, Ganyu. No, it is you who I should be thanking. If not for this chance meeting, I never thought that I would be able to contribute to the upcoming farewell for our... If you would excuse me, I should return to my work now. Good luck. Me parece porque todas tienen campanita, Juan. And that just about does it. Our preparations for the rite of parting are mostly finished. Given the ease of picking glaze lilies, I think this was a fitting end to our tasks in more ways than one. Yeah, Paimon can already imagine him starting a business in Liyue. <laughs> I've had enough ventures in my life already. Beginning a new undertaking is always difficult at first, and requires no small amount of effort. And once business is at full steam, so you must be careful to take the time to step back and re-examine yourself. If left unchecked, the wear and tear on your heart may go well. Ah, yes. Wow. See, Jolly sounds like he's already seen it all. All right, I think it's about time we head back to Leo at Har Huh? What happened? The city gate is swarming with Milleth and... The Fatui? Hmm. This atmosphere is highly abnormal. It seems as though something big has happened. Probablemente. Aquí van a empezar los problemas. Uh, you're the consultant to Wong Shung Funeral Parlor. Mr. Zhong Li, I presume. The Millilith are watching our every move now. These are desperate times. We mustn't act rashly. Desperate hmm. times? The Adepti of Joyun Karst are finally on the move. Do they intend to exercise force? Most likely. I've heard that some members of the Qixing have already gone to meet them. Well, I say meet, but it's more like they're attempting to stall the Adepti outside the city. Mm -hmm. However, both sides were quite obstinate. And hidden impasse. It seems inevitable given the current situation. The Adepti do not acknowledge the Chi Sing. They only acknowledge the contracts of the Geo Archon. If the two sides come to blows, Liyue Harbor will be in no position. Surely mm. the Liyue Chi Sing are not the sort to give in so easily. <laughs> Their boneheadedness is known throughout the lands. Yet it's because of that obstinacy that mortals and Adepti are now on the verge of conflict. And what now? How is it that the Fatui have come under fire? Uh, 
That's all Ningguang's doing. She proclaimed that in these tumultuous times, the Millilith must rein in the actions of the Fatui. Only now do they want to start keeping tabs on us? <laughs> That's the Qixing for you. Anyway, Mr. Zhongli, you're one of Child's close associates. Please understand that your actions will reflect on us. Don't let anyone catch you off guard. It looks like things are about to boil over in Liyue Harbor. Do you intend to use your neutral identity as an intermediary between both sides? Or will you use your sword to turn the balance? Hmm. Neither path is an easy one. Oh, by the way, Mr. Zhongli, we've heard that the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has also been caught up in all of this. They're currently squaring off with the authorities at the gates. Things are taking a turn for the worse. I'm afraid I must leave now to handle things back at Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. I hope that Master Hu has been able to keep things under control for the moment. Consider your next course of action carefully, Traveler. If you're trying to prevent an explosion, it may be wisest to look for the fuse first. <sighs> Having connections with the Fatui seems to be quite the double-edged sword. So what does Zhang Li mean by looking for the fuse? Oh, Paimon gets it. If there's anyone that wants to see the whole city turned upside down, it's definitely him. He must be waiting for the moment when no one is watching to do something really bad. But where could we find him now? Where would he go at a time like this? Ah, chinga, ¿cuándo pusieron ese palacio ahí? Bien, gente, eh, en esta zona había como un laguito, pero ya pusieron una casa, o sea que lo remodelaron el parche, así que vamos a continuar. Y yo creo que después de hablar con Ovil vamos a eh, terminar esta parte de la historia, ¿vale? Parece que es el palacio de Jade, ¿no? ¿No es el mismo palacio? No, es similar. No está interesante. Vale, vamos a ver qué cosa hace Ovil aquí. Looked impressive enough from the outside, but who would have guessed that it was even fancier on the inside? This is where all of Tibet's mora is minted, right? In that case, maybe they won't notice if a few more. Como muevas un dedo, estamos acabando. Pero no me acuerdo si habrían vaciado este lugar hace mucho tiempo. Oh, so it's a trap. Tricky, tricky. Good thing Paimon's got you here. But even if we can't take any, we can still have a closer look, right? Or better mm. yet, take a nap on top of a mountain of Mora. It's like a dream come true. Ahora, lo que quizás hubieran configurado aquí sería que hubieran puesto guardias afuera para poder entrar o algo así. Tengo un extraño presidente oh, sobre este lugar. Right. Back to business. It's quiet. Too quiet. Surely someone's got to be guarding something as important as the Exuvi. Huh? Look! What happened here? En la jornada parece haber perdido el conocimiento. Uh -oh. Paimon smells trouble. Quick, we have to go make sure that the Exuvia is... Vale. You've already fulfilled your task as guides. So why do you still linger here? Haven't you already seen enough trouble for today? Hmm. Huh? Who's there? <sighs> If you were Fatui, I imagine that you would be entitled to a generous reward from the Tsaritsa herself. But now, you're nothing but dross, and you're in my way. Hmm. <laughs> Although I'm deeply grateful to you that I was able to effortlessly find this secret location, don't you think that trying to stop me now would just be wasted effort? <laughs> Stopping the more immense. Hiding away the Exuvia. <laughs> the Chising are really pulling out all the stops this time. So you've been planning to take the Gnosis from inside the Exuvia all along? Huh. As one of the eleven Fatui Harbingers, it's my duty to see the will of the Tsaritsa fulfilled. She will get that which she desires. <laughs> I'm not asking for your blessing, and there's nothing you can do to stop me anyway. The time for discussion and diplomacy has already passed. I mean, if it were up to me, I would have skipped that stage to begin with. Either way, we now come to my favorite part. A simple pleasure, and one that I am oh so delighted to be sharing with you. <laughs> the battle. Battle? So you're the type that goes looking for trouble, huh? <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> when Signora offended the deities outside the cathedral in Mondstadt, 
She swiftly left the scene once her mission was accomplished. Instead of confronting you directly, she chose to rely on the snow and ice to make her escape. She wouldn't want the knights to come running towards the sound of battle now, would she? When she faces a worthy opponent, she will prioritize her mission, weigh the outcomes, and consider the consequences of her actions. But as for me, the greatest pleasure of being a harbinger lies in crossing blades with strong opponents. We won't let what happened in Mondstadt ever happen again! Oh, so you intend to fight me? Good. I won't kill you, Traveler. I'll just play along. Defe Besides, you could never defeat me. Not even in your wildest dreams. But hey, try to relish the fight anyway. Because if you ask me, without that, what else is there? Te voy a reventar, Nobil. Fighting talk, I love it. Now let's see you live up to it. This chance is hard to come by. So show me all you've got. So very few ever get the chance to square off with a Fatui Harbinger. So come now, amuse me. And don't you dare disappoint. I'll catch up. Ah, son pendejadas. Passable effort. Vale. No sé cómo lo vamos a hacer. Ah, no me jodas. Right. Leave it all to me. 
something else catch your eye? No mames. Perro, fuera. Not bad. Your swordsmanship is quite impressive. But that's about as far as you'll get. Ay, mierda, solo dos. You had that card hidden up your sleeve. <laughs> you were just playing to get close to the Exodia. Oh, quiet down. Stop acting like some wide eyed recruit. You've seen this world. You of all people should know. This should have been expected. <laughs> well, then, I'll be taking Morax's gnosis now. <laughs> I see. Well, this is most unexpected. You... You beat me to it, didn't you? Hmm. Mierda, ahora sí se puso la cosa color de hormiga. Cartagena, ¿no? Esto me ha resultado más lento aquí. Mierda. Es un pendejada. Mierda, me revienta, loquito. Ah. 
Ah, estoy mierdo. Así me mató, loco. Ah, no, no se ojete. culo para la ah, madre la perra look child's back to normal again well then time to cool off <laughs> it seems the burden of the foul legacy transformation was too great for my body and now that I consider the matter more carefully you never had any chance of beating me to the gnosis You had no connection to the Gnosis, no matter where it had been taken. That's what we've been trying to tell you. We didn't take it. Your mm. show of ability today far surpasses that of Senora's initial assessment of you and Mondstadt. Tell me, how could that be? You already know the answer, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. Mm. But if that is a secret you wish to keep, I guess I'll just have to curb my curiosity. This battle has already left me satisfied. Anyone who strives as I do to grow stronger shall be called a friend. Even if our friendship can only be shown in battle against one another. Pretty sure that's not the normal way to make friends. Hmm. Unfortunately, I must bring this amiable conversation to an end. My quest still beckons. Given that the Gnosis wasn't taken by anyone, then we must look once again to the beginning. Perhaps it was never in the Exuvia to begin. In fact, It might be that the Exuvia was just a diversion of sorts. What? So you mean that... Hmm... Yes, it appears so. Interesting, it seems that the guardian deity of the capital of commerce is also well versed in little maneuvers beyond the bound... As such, we must now look to our backup plan. Backup plan? I had hoped it would never come to this. I absolutely detest working with those who are weaker than I. The truth is, the world belongs to those of us who desire to become strong. I seldom willingly mingle with any dull and boring weaklings who think otherwise. Unfortunately, we cannot be picky about our methods as Fatui Harbingers. Children must all learn to eat their vegetables sometimes. So what are you planning to do? I will awaken the god that lies dormant beneath Guyan's stone forest. A god? Osile, overlord of the Vortex. Who was defeated by Morax, the GR Archon, in the Archon War, and who has remained pinned beneath the waves by the GR Archon's stone spears ever since. If such an ancient god would be unleashed upon Liyue Harbor, defenseless without the protection of its deity, do you think the cunning Rex Lapis would just stand aloof and watch the ensuing destruction? But the Archon War ended 2,000 years ago. How can an ancient god appear in a world now overseen by the Seven? Mm -hmm. Simple. I've already prepared the means to awaken it. Hey, hey, hijo de puta. Sigils of permission. Oh, Paimon remembers now. The Fatui have been researching them. Estás tratando de duplicarlo. The one that was given to you was just a byproduct of our research. With the power of so many sigils of permission concentrated in one place, along with that which was bestowed upon me as a harbinger by our Tsaritsa, Breaking the subduing might of the Geo Archon Spears for a time should be no obstacle. Hijo Using de puta. the powers of ancient gods in such a situation fails to interest me and is largely against my principles. But knowing that such an action will not only force the Geo Archon to show its hand, but you as well, that makes matters a little more intriguing. Sí, como te pati el trasero. Ay, mierda. Una ballena. <laughs> Let's see. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? 
if you wish to drown together with the people of Lyra. Bueno, antes de que eh, continúe chicos, aquí voy a dejar el capítulo y nos vemos en el siguiente, en el siguiente capítulo. Espero les haya gustado subirme, despido y nos vemos hasta la próxima. Se pone buenísimo en el siguiente capítulo, no se lo pierdan. Suscríbanse, comenten y compartan para seguir viendo. Lo vamos a enfrentarnos ahora sí a todos los factores y vamos a dar todo su cabezota. Así que nos vemos hasta la próxima. Chicos, muchas gracias por haber visto. De corazón, gracias por aquellos que se suscriben y apoyen y que, que confían en mí. Nos vemos. Saludos a su princesa, pórtense bien. Échale muchas ganas a su tuyo y nunca se rindan en sus sueños. Nos vemos hasta la próxima. Yeah. <laughs>